Hey, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you how to data log on your Mega Squirt platform with Tuner Studio and get your tune perfected. Okay, so the first thing you gotta do is you have to download Mega Log Viewer. So I'm just gonna open it right here to show you real quick. You can download it on EFI Analytics. So once you download it onto your computer, whatever you're actually tuning with, you go to Tuner Studio, which I'm in right now, and go to data logging. So you hit start data logging, and you can name it whatever you want. You can put it into your data logs folder, you can put it on your desktop. Just make sure you have it in a spot where you can find it easily. Because if you set it up that you can't find it easily, you're gonna go, go waste a lot of time every time you're looking for a log. So I just save mine into data logs. And then when I open my mega log loop viewer, I just go to file, open, and then it opens right to my data logs. So you, once you set that up, get it to open where you want it to open, you should be good to go. So I'm gonna name this first tune. So I'm gonna type that in. File name, first tune. So, and then once I got that, I'm just gonna hit save. And then I'm data logging. So I'm gonna get my screen back up and go for a little bit of a drive. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to show some loads that it would be just driving it around town. So I'm gonna watch my air fuel with my eyes, like on my gauge, and then make sure everything's within reason of drivability. Like you don't want it to go down to 16 or anything like it just did so already we're we're lean i just started moving i'm gonna turn and see see how everything else is that was just a, like two percent throttle so right now i'm brought her up to four grand second gear just going through it a little bit third gear just cruising not doing any stupid speeds now i'm in fourth gear holding an actual speed. I'm just gonna hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Accelerate fourth gear. And then I'm gonna pull over and I'm gonna check that log and do some tuning. Okay, I'm pulled over in a safe spot. I'm gonna get out of my screen here. Go to log viewer, open the file, file open. First tune, it's right there. Hit open load up and basically it's in real time but you can stop pause it and go in slow motion through your tune so right now this is in real time it goes through the load rpm pps everything so i'm gonna just look through this and pause it as you can see right here i have red as map i have green as air fuel ratio and yellow as throttle position. Actually, I'm gonna change this white one to knock, knock retard. So once, if this line here on the screen actually moves from the center, it knocks. So obviously I didn't knock there, so that's good. So I'm just gonna cruise through here by tapping on, on the right. So I'm looking at the, um, yellow right here and that's very low and hard to see because I was barely on the throttle so right now the throttle's starting to come up just a little bit it's got everything so right now I'm at 10% throttle 40 sits 46 on uh, map so and the green is air fuel so I've got to follow all that and it, it's got everything in here as well so I'm just gonna scroll through here with these little knobs down here. I can go one point at a time and I'm just watching my air fuel ratio in the green. So I'm going along, going along. I'm basically looking for lean. I'm looking for anything in the 15s or 16s because we did see 16s off the at the very beginning, remember that? 
and I'm probably about to right about now. No, it, no, okay, it's, it's going rich. So as I move along here, it's also moving where I was in my map. So right here, I'm at 15.3, 15.2. So right about here in my tune, I'm a little bit lean. As you can see, 15.2 here, and that's where I was. So I'm gonna highlight all those cells there and then add some fuel because that's obviously too lean. Being 15, I want it into the 14s at least for uh, low load. So I'm going to multiply that by 8%. That's what I think I should add. So I'm gonna go 1.08, okay. So I just added fuel to there. So I'm gonna go continue to the right. So that was 15.6 up here, or down here actually. So I'm gonna add another 8% there as well because it did go lean. I'm gonna add some more to those other four cells. So 1.08. Add some. And right down here, I went really lean. I went down to 17. So I'm gonna find where it started. 4.16.2. Gonna keep going until it's about in the 15.5. Okay, so right there it started going lean. So I'm gonna keep going, find the cells that also were lean. So it's moving to the left right here. See that little guy moving? So he's moving. Right, so I'm gonna highlight. So basically it went from there to there. So I'm gonna keep going just to make sure I'm not adjusting the wrong cells but it's probably gonna go up to the top left of what I just highlighted. Nope, it didn't. So, all I need is, I think these ones, so I'm just gonna triple, triple check. Yeah, I'm gonna highlight all that and add 8%. So I'm gonna hit okay. So I added some more to those cells as I was starting to get to 100. So 100 is right here where I'm at with this, this dot. And I was at 13.8, that's not terrible. So I'm, I'm gonna just save that. So I just clicked save there. Now I'm gonna go to my Mega or Tuner Studio and it says file current tune has been changed. So I'm gonna wrap up the engine a bit and then change it so it doesn't kill the engine. And then I'll do another log. Okay, so I'm gonna go to data log, start logging just like last time and name it tune two or something like that. All right, so right now I'm data logging and the goal is, is just to do drivability testing. So I'm just going through the gears, nice and slow, less than 10% throttle, just going through the gears, cruising around. Okay, I'm starting from a stop here. Gonna do some moderate acceleration. Watching my air fuels, everything's looking a lot better so far. Second gear, third gear, just like I'm max 5% throttle here. And I'm just cruising, just trying to get the drivability tune good. Okay, the, the data log's still going. So I'm just gonna give it a little bit more steam because that tune, tune looked pretty good. I'm gonna give it about 10%, 10% 20% throttle. Now file, open again, tune to open. Okay, here we go again. Yellow is my throttle. Just looking for anything abnormal here. So right here, as you can see, it says four. That means I'm at 4% throttle and it's reading 15.5.
right there I would like it a little bit more rich so I'm just gonna cruise along here and see how many cells need altered so I'm just going through here now I went down to 14.9 so I'm gonna I've already got it highlighted where I think I need to change so I'm gonna reverse and see which way it goes so it's moving to the left as it's leaning out so I'm just making making sure I'm gonna be changing the right cells now it's down to 14.8 so I just need to do pretty much these two box two box so I'm gonna add 5% here 1.05 so I'm gonna add 5% thro um, fuel there gonna keep going see if anything's weird now I'm watching the air fuels keep going okay it looks a little lean here I see 15 and my load is fairly high here I have 80 on the map and I'm at 15 so it's hard to tell sometimes when you're in shifts, right? If you're shifting. Okay, right here, we're starting to go lean. Right here, we're lean, 15.3, 15.6. I'm just gonna highlight where I think I need to change. Yeah, it's looking like I need to add about 8%, we'll add 8%, see how that goes, 1.09%, let's say. Okay, added some fuel there, cruising through here, now I'm looking for the yellow line because I'm looking for more load. So now I'm starting to get into throttle, 7% throttle, 14% throttle, 15.3 again. So I'm, I'm back into the same cells I just adjusted, so I'm going to keep going. Okay, I'm looking pretty good here. I, I'm just going to go through a little bit more. Okay, so I'm going to now hit save. I went through the whole log. And now I'm gonna go back to Tuner Studio, rev up the engine a bit so it doesn't die, hit yes. All right, everything's changed over now. So what I've gotta do is do another log. So far, my drivability tune is looking actually pretty good for just two or three logs. So I'm gonna name this one log three. You can name it whatever you want. So log three. Here we go, we're good to go. I'm gonna get the screen up for you. I'm still just doing anything less than 20%. Making sure everything's good. She's crackling quite a, quite a bit. It's popping out of the exhaust, which I don't mind. That's on diesel though, no throttle. I'm gonna give it a little bit of juice here. I'm gonna go 30% throttle. Okay, that's lots for a log. I'm just gonna pull over and then check it. File, open, log three. Okay, so here we go. I'm just going to cruise through here again. Looking for spikes in the green. So, okay, this is where I started to get into a decent amount of load. That was 20% throttle. 
right here. That's 19% throttle. And it was running 12.7. 13.4, 13.1. All right, so that's it. I got a lot of drivability tuning going on. It's looking great for drivability. It's even popping when I actually let off the throttle and I'm downshifting, which is pretty cool. I haven't had it done that before. So the thing with tuning is, is you got to take your time, make sure things are done right. And honestly, you can take 30 um, data logs and go through it and make sure things are all right. And you're not hurting anything you just got to make sure your parameters are there and uh make sure if you are boosted make sure you do have like an actual boost cut and when you're data logging at first don't go into boost like i didn't go into boost once i didn't go above 22 percent throttle so you just got to go slow and you'll get that tune dialed all right that's it for this episode. We'll see you in the next one. Make sure you watch the entire series. Go to my channel. Go to my series. And um, on playlist, it will be in there. This is usually fairly frightening.